this lens is a no-brainer. What's up guys, Dan Forlani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If not just then, hit the like button. Today I got up at 5, I had breakfast, got ready and then it took me a while to figure out what to talk about in this video. What am I gonna talk about? I wanna talk about the Canon 90D with one lens and since I talked about the 10 to 18 millimeters a lot, which I could use on the Canon 90D all the time to do, to do everything. Yes, I can do pretty much anything using the Canon 90D with the 10 to 18 millimeters. Like for example, for vlogging, I can shoot all the speaking parts and it's awesome because everything is like in frame, like so wide. And I can shoot B-rolls too, with slow motion, 60 or 120 frames per second, 1080. But the only thing that bugs me about this lens, the 10 to 18 millimeters, is its maximum aperture, f4.5, when at 10 millimeters, and then closing to f5.6, when at 18 millimeters. So let's say, number one, we don't get the shallow depth of field at all. I mean, just maybe just a tiny little bit. If the subject is close enough to the camera and there is uh, so much space between the subject and the, and the background, Honestly, I could use a lens with a better maximum aperture. And let's say, for example, uh, can I use the EFS 24 millimeters f 2.8, like for vlogging? Hmm, let's see. Just give me one second. And this is it. The Canon EFS 24 millimeters f 2.8 with a Canon 90D and I think I don't know if it's a little bit too tight for vlogging because right now I'm holding it on the Jubby Gorilla Pod and my arm is completely extended this lens doesn't have stabilization so it might be a little shaky the Canon 90D has the electronic stabilization but right now it's disabled if I enable it the image would get even tighter I'm gonna show you this is with the electronic stabilization on. I don't know if it gets any better, but what concerns is shaking. But for sure, the stabilization crops a little bit. So I don't know if in the end this would be too tight for vlogging. You judge. Let me know in the comments down below and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And check the links to Epidemic Sound if you want one month of great music and awesome sound effects to use in your videos for free. Let's see what happens if I walk a little bit. The Canon 90D with 24mm f2.8. I don't know if it's too shaky, I don't know if it's too tight for you to judge. If you think this is too shaky or too tight, well, you can vlog in a different way. Like, try not to walk and talk when you have the camera on the job or the pod like this but rather find a nice place set your mini tripod there frame yourself the way you like then press the right button you're good to go So now I put the Canon 90D with the EFS 24mm f2.8 on the Jobby Gorilla Pod on a bench. Very near and very close to the camera. I could touch the lens like this, but I'm not going to. I don't want to make it dirty. Right now, aperture f4. So I believe we don't get a really shallow depth of field, like blurry background. We need a wider aperture. So this lens opens up to f2.8, but what happens if I set the aperture to f2.8 right now? I'm gonna show you. Well, 
that be overexposed. How do we fix that? With an ND filter, in this case a variable ND filter. Voila, <laughs> here we are, Aperture F2.8 and it's not overexposed anymore because I'm using an ND filter, it's a KNF concept. Check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear. Hit the like button right now and subscribe if you ain't already. So let's say with an ND filter you can use this lens during the day when it's really sunny and you can keep a very wide aperture. I mean, f2.8 is not very very wide but it's really good during the day to get a shallow depth of field I love this lens I have been using it on the Canon 90D but also on the Canon M50 a lot and most of my videos shot on these cameras were shot using this lens Is this my favorite lens? Well, for what concerns crop sensor cameras, I'd say it's definitely one of my favorites. It's one of the first lenses I, I recommend to people who want to upgrade from the kit lens. Besides the 50 millimeters, F1.8, the Nifty 50, which is awesome because of its compression and of its aperture F1.8, the Nifty 50, man, that's a great lens. Wonderful for B-rolls. Yes, but this EFS 24mm f2.8 is more versatile. You can even vlog with it, if you don't mind the fact that it might be a little bit too tight, but not too much. That personal preference, and so it's definitely up to you. And only thing like, it's not stabilized, as you have seen, and when you activate the electronic stabilization, well, it crops a tiny little bit more. As I said, it's totally up to you. Man, I need to slow down. I mean, so I find myself uh, working literally uh, 16, 17 hours a day, and that's a lot. Living in a foreign country is not easy at all. My wife and I are considering to move to a different country for quite a few reasons. We would definitely prefer a country where people speak English, because here they don't question. If you had the possibility to move to a different country, where would you go? Well, today the weather is a little bit, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's like, it changes every two seconds. I would like to go to, to that place near the bridge, the place that I call my own, my own outdoor studio. I like the colors over there. And here we are, this is my outdoor studio. This is for some reasons the most practical place for me to come to make my videos and talk about cameras and lenses. So what do I think about this lens? Uh, well, if you own a crop sensor camera such as the Canon 90D or the Canon M50 for example, this lens Canon EFS 24mm f2.8 is a no-brainer. So who needs to buy this lens? Well, this lens not only is good for vlogging, as you have seen, then it depends on your taste, if you like the, the framing, which is a little bit tight, but that's totally up to you. But it's also awesome for interview shots. Like, as I said, I shot many of my videos in the studio with the Canon M50 and the Canon 90D using this lens, also for photos. It's a great focal length, the 24mm on a crop sensor camera, which corresponds to a 38-ish or something. It's not too wide and not too tight, and I believe it's perfect for uh, street photography. It can be used also for landscape. Uh, for portraits, well, I'm not sure. Also here it depends on your personal taste, because being a 24mm, let's say, it distorts the image quite a bit but there are many people using 24 millimeters for portraits even though I prefer something like at least 50 millimeters even though in my opinion perfection when it comes to portraiture is 
85 millimeters. Today is one of those days that I remember when I was little with my family and we wanted to go to the beach and early in the morning my parents would look at the window and see the weather like this and say, hmm, I don't know if we should go because, you know, the weather changes every two seconds and you never know what's going to happen, you know. In a couple hours it can turn into a sunny day or it might even be raining. So when I woke up this morning at 5, 5.30, I wasn't sure what to talk about in this video because when I know, when I can tell, even from very early in the morning when it's still dark, but I can tell it's gonna be a sunny day, but then I love making videos with the Canon 90D. And when it's cloudy or rainy, I don't really enjoy the, the 90D. I prefer to use the Canon EOS R when it's like cloudy, rainy and things like that. So I started this video using the Canon 10 to 18 millimeters, which is great for vlogging. And then I introduced this Canon 24 millimeters f2.8 to see if we can vlog with it. And since that moment, this is the only one lens I have used for both the speaking parts and the B-rolls. Therefore, let me know what you think about it. Would you vlog using the Canon 90D and the 24 millimeters f2.8? Or is it too tight for you? or you prefer a different focal lens? If so, what's your favorite lens for vlogging? And hit the like button. So the gear I used in this video include the Canon 90D of course, the 10 to 18 millimeters which I have used in the beginning of the vlog, Canon 24 millimeters f2.8, I shot the rest of the entire video with it. The audio comes from the Rode Vita Micro and the tripod, it's a mini tripod, the Jumpy Gorilla Pod 5K and you can find all this gear in the links down below. Check them out to see prices, availabilities and things and stuff. My gear. Now I should go because I realize I haven't worked out yet. I don't know if you already know I'm um, very passionate about bodybuilding and <laughs> I've been building more muscles during the winter so now I'm in a cutting phase. That means I'm trying to to eliminate like fat from my body and keep the muscle and I would like to say hi to one of my subscribers one of you guys it's Keith Rogers from England now I believe he's been watching my videos since the very beginning since I started my channel well I really appreciate that like really seriously guys I, I really enjoy it I really love it when we interact when, when you make comments and I answer and you know it's just awesome because I feel like when I make videos I'm not just talking to myself or just talking to the camera like so I know there is you guys and for me it's really important to know that so keep watching my videos thank you so much and all right I think I should go you know I have to work out and take a shower breakfast get ready uh, I already had breakfast second breakfast extra breakfast and then lunch yeah whatever all right I really should go now okay it's been a pleasure I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.